Lincoln Raider football on WLCN 96.3 FM, WLCNonline.com, and on the Mixler app is brought to you by Brow Incorporated, Chris Coyne, State Farm Insurance, Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois, The Carpet House, Four Corners Lube, Lincoln IGA, Lincoln Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, Eaton Corporation, Lincoln College, Lincoln Heating and Cooling, Abraham Lincoln Memorial Hospital Farmers Market, Chicago Street Reynolds, Timbercrest Veterinary Service, Lincoln Printers, ALMH Memorial Sports Care, Rick Ham State Farm Insurance, Wright Idea Screen Printing, Mama's Arcade Cafe, Area Disposal, Headline Salon LLC, State Bank of Lincoln, Mike Mosky Auction Service, Family Custom Cleaners Tanning Laundromat and U-Haul, Gary's Drywall Finishing, Painting, and Power Washing, Tartar Brothers Mechanical, Bex Travel Plaza, Lincoln Grand 8 Theater, Covers of Lincoln, DeFades Barbershop, The Blue Dog Inn, d and Sewer Service, p and Pools, Republican Sheriff Steve Nichols, Nuthatch Hill Championship Barbecue Company, and by Mary Todd's Hallmark Gifts and More. Out there for the rail splitters getting ready to go uh, up on that front line. We'll try and pick them off for you as we can if we can pick those numbers up. I think the officials like to get this thing started. We hope we go, go rain free tonight, but we'd be surprised if that happens. Uh, they want to get this thing started, and now uh, the Green Wave are out there lining up for the kickoff. The railers are there getting out, lining up, ready to receive. Yeah, let's see. I believe that is. Uh, is that two, two and three? Two and three. That's, that's the same way we line up. Is that Sites are here to the near side? Schweitzer, Schweitzer? Yeah. Schweitzer? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Okay, here's Gears going to kick it away. And they're going to kick it to Brandon Schweitzer on one hop. Picks it up at the seven. He's up to the ten. Looks for his blocking. Avoids one man. Oh, now he's he got the, the sideline. He's got the sideline. Nice run to the 30, 35, and finally drug down it around the 40-yard line. You called it, Coach. Got some good blocking and a wide open sideline, and they're on the far side of the field by the Lincoln bench. Well, one of their runners came down, and uh, Gunner's on the outside and just missed him and slowed him down, but he got away and got to the sideline, as you said, Bob, and took it all the way out to the 40-yard line line where Lincoln will start the their first uh, 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 possession. On the far side hash marks it'll be first and ten for the rail splitters. Don't forget tomorrow to stop by Mama's Arcade Cafe. Great homemade breakfast and lunch meals served at 513 Pulaski Street on the square in downtown Lincoln. You can phone 735-1443. That's Mama, Mama's Arcade Cafe and the rail splitters ready to go. Funk going at quarterback for the rail splitters. It'll be Cade Schmidt at the center again on the long count out of the shotgun and they fake the handoff, and Funk's going to take it across the 40 down, close to the 46-yard line. Goes Noah Funk as he goes off the right side of the line, off of Shane Schumard and Jake Benninger over there on the right side of the line for Lincoln. The regulars uh, lined up in trips that time, trips to the right side, and uh, they fake the handoff up the middle, and Funk kept it going to the outside, picked up five yards on first down. Nice run. Funk goes to the sideline. He cuts play. He comes out. He got five yards on that play, so it'll be second and five for the rail splitters. If we start it tonight, this coach told you we want to hurry up and try this, get this in before the big rains come in. Again, up on that front line, the guards are Gage Wilson and Shane Schumard for Lincoln. It'll be Cage Schmidt and them offsides, and we'll see who they call that against. Uh, I think the Railers had movement on their right side. That was number 68, I think, Jake Benninger, who was the first one to move. Illegal procedure. And that's what they're going to call illegal procedure against Lincoln. So that'll take back the five yards that Noah Funk gained and take him back to the original line of scrimmage at the 40-yard line, so it'll be second and 10 now at the 40. Only 50 seconds run off the clock here to start the game, and Funk's got the play as he heads back into the Lincoln huddle. I want to remind you, brand new uniforms for Lincoln, all white, white numerals on white, and the green helmets. Railers have had plenty of trouble with penalties the first two weeks, and here we got one on the second play of the game tonight. Funk out of the gun. He's got his running back back here with him, Tyler Vance, but it looks like Funk's going to keep it, and he got a yard out of it. 
he was trying to judge where the best hole was in the traffic and he just couldn't find any place and he just picked up a yard so now it's going to be third and nine for the rail splitters. Well, the Green Waver have a four-man front here, here on defense Bob and they were good did a good job of closing down running lanes to the outside. Funk had to come back to the inside and uh, picked up just one yard so it's going to be a third and long for the railers here. We got here early they were going through the warm-ups without their pads on and they were running quite a few pass plays and they're going to go with trips to the left side a single receiver for Lincoln here on the right side and Funk wants to throw he's got a little time and now he gets tripped up in the backfield he had some time but one of the players for Mattoon was able to get through and tripped him for a five yard loss back at the 36 and now it's going to be a long fourth down for the rail splitters at their own 36 yard line he just held the ball a little too long and of course his receivers if they're not open uh, but I was watching him trying to find an open receiver and uh, the protection was good early but then it broke down at the end. Jaden uh, Graham uh, all this year has been an excellent putter for the rail splitters. It'll be Austin O'Donohue on the long snap. Nice snap and Graham goes up and gets it. End over end punt. Lands and bounces across the 40, 35 and out of bounds at the 29 yard line. So a good punt there by Graham as uh, the Mattoon Green Wave will take over first and 10 at their own 29 yard line. Well, not a great first possession by the Railers. Uh, first play was a five yard pickup but then the penalty you know just a five yarder but it's uh, it was hurt a lot and the Railers weren't able to move it after that and had to punt away. Uh, actually ball is going to be put on the 28 yard line so good uh, results on the punt. Jack Pilson, the quarterback for the Mattoon Green Wave, he's a senior, 6'2", 205, I believe this is his third year at quarterback, and he's going to operate out of the shotgun formation. The Green Wave with their golden helmets and green uniforms as we get ready for play number one, first and ten. Pilson wants to keep it, and he's not going anywhere. Rail splitters, three of them, four or five of them in the backfield corralling for a loss. He did a nice job. The Railers did a nice job of penetrating at the line of scrimmage. They're big up front, and uh, they got across the line of scrimmage and kept him from getting to the outside. Good containment. Stopped him for a one-yard loss. Green Wave lost that yard, so now it's going to be second and 11 for the Green Wave. Clock on the move. Nine minutes left here in the first quarter. No score as the Green Wave, all of them looking at the wrist bands for their plays as Jack Pilson lines them up again out of the shotgun. His uh, running back is Tucker Overton, and here's the handoff. No, he's going to throw. Fake the handoff. Got a man wide open. He's got the completion at the 45 to Lincoln. 40 breaks one tackle, breaks another tackle tackle and now he's going to run along the sideline for the touchdown touchdown green wave all the way from their own 27 yard line for the green wave they had a man wide open fake the handoff on the right side and they go in for the touchdown well Lincoln had two chances to stop him two missed tackles there after the catch Bob and uh, you know they just uh, failed to get him to the ground and he ran down the sideline on the Lincoln side all the way to the end zone as you said good faking inside uh, looked like run but he hang up Pilsen a senior quarterback with experience hung on to the ball made a nice throw down field now Jake Deere will attempt the extra point Mattoon leads it early 6-0 and here's the kick and it looks like it was shanked off to the left side it was so the score will remain Mattoon Green Wave 6 Lincoln Rail Splitter 0 with 831 left in the first quarter we'll take a 60 second timeout. Thank you Paula we're back here at uh, Mattoon and the Green Wave lead at 6-0 I'm Bob Erber along with coach Ken Schweitzer as gear gets ready to kick it away the uh, attempt for the extra point was wide and back for the rail splitters are Schweitzer and Funk and this time he's just gonna onside kick it and kick it out of bounds so gonna be good field position for the railers looks like it went out of bounds like at the 32 maybe 33 yard line where it's gonna be first and ten for the rail splitters they didn't want us running it back yeah, that may be the case. Yeah, they, uh, they'll bring it out to the 35, I believe, is where they'll spot it after it goes out of bounds. And the Railers have first and 10, which is a pretty good field position. But uh, the, the key for the Railers is to get some momentum here on offense. They, they had it in week one against McComb, scoring 20 points, three touchdowns. Did not have much of it last week, and uh, they have to find a way to get some momentum on offense and some ball control, and uh, and three and outs are not what they need tonight. That's right, Coach. And, and last week, like you said, they, they didn't have a lot of offense. They just mostly operated between the two 20-yard lines. They had the one field goal. Got a spot on the ball here at the 30. 
eight-yard line. It'll be first and ten for the rail splitters. Yeah, I think it goes on the 35 if it goes deeper than that, but it went out, as you said, on the 38. So it's going to be Schmidt going to be on the snap to Funk and pulled off sides. And finally they throw a flag. And I think it's going to go against Mattoon. We'll wait and see. Yeah, they, they went off early on the, on the right side. The right end went off early. So a quick five yards on the penalty for the rail splitters. It'll be first and five. And they'll move the football up to the 43-yard line. Still 8.31 remaining in the first quarter. Mattoon struck quickly. They had the ball for a minute and three seconds. And they scored, and they lead it 6-0. So uh, Rail splitters split wide to the left there is number uh, 17. That is Austin Prater. He had a nice catch last week. Funk out of the shotgun's got the snap. He's going to throw it long. Intended receiver tip. Good defense there by uh, Matt Toon. The intended receiver was Colton Holiday. He's 6'5", 200. He had two defenders on him, and it was tipped away by Matt Toon. Incomplete, so now it'll be second and five for the rail splitters, and the clock stops. That was a guy who uh, just scored the touchdown, Brock Smith, breaking that up, Bob. Uh, good route down the sideline, a pretty good pass, but uh, slightly, if anything, underthrown. Second and five for the rail splitters at their own 43. They trail it here early, 6-0 to Mattoon. On the long count, Noah Funk's got the ball, hands it off to Tyler Vance. Vance gets up to the line of scrimmage. May have lost a yard there. Wow, what a play in there by the Greenway. Yeah, there, there was a... Uh, uh, just a uh, green green shirts coming across the line and stopped him, I think, for, as you said, a, a yard loss. So now it's going to be uh, third and uh, six for the rail splitters at their own 42-yard line. So another passing play here for the rail splitters as Noah Funk lines them up along the line of scrimmage. And they get ready to go here as the snap by Schmidt and the handoff. That is Tyler Vance, and he makes, no, pardon me, that's Schweitzer, Brandon Schweitzer. Schweitzer on the run. He gets up to the 45-yard line, a three-yard pickup. So now it's going to be fourth and three. And they give him a pretty good spot almost to the 46-yard line. So fourth and a long two for the rail splitters. Yeah, he had he almost broke that, Bob. He had one more defender to, to uh, get away from, and they just couldn't quite do it. So Raiders going to have to punt here again on fourth down, fourth and fourth and about three. So it'll be Austin O'Donohue on the long snap to Jaden Graham. Graham back at about his own 31-yard line. He's got a good snap, boots it away. Side winder. Let's see if we get a good bounce there. And oh. it's grabbed by the railer. And he may have grabbed it a little bit early, but uh, it's down at the 16-yard line. Grabbed it a little bit early, Coach. Well, it looked like, looked like it was going to bounce a little farther, but uh, yeah, he was running down the field and just uh, grabbed the ball. But anyway, it's still a good kick uh, with no return. Good kick by Graham. First and 10 for the Green Wave now at their own 16-yard line. The Green Wave, was told you, has got the... Golden helmets with the green jerseys and pants and the green and white shoes. It'll be Jack Pilson out of the shotgun for Mattoon. Rail splitter defense covering uh, the receiver. Now here's the handoff and good churn there as he's down to the 24 yard pickup there by Baker for the Mattoon Green Wave. We talked about the Railers being big up front there. You know, they. Uh, Offensively, they're averaging 246, but Mattoon looks like they have some pretty good-sized kids up front too, Bob. They do. A uh, strong lineup up front, some tall uh, big guys, and now Lincoln's got maybe a little uh, equipment damage here. One of the players, he's got to go off the field, and a new player will come in for Lincoln. Yeah, I think that was Andrew Schmidt that, walked, that went off. Uh, I don't know what they're doing with this. Oh, is this helmet or what over there? So it's second and six now for the Green Wave as they operate out of the shotgun. Now they got one receiver on the right side of the field. Now they hand it to the running back. That's Baker at the 25 across the 30. And Baker is out for a first down for the Green Wave to the uh, Green Wave 31 yard line. He just ran off the left side, Bob. Got some nice blocking, got off tackle on the left side before Raiders could stop him on the 30, a 10 yard pickup. They got this good spot, the rail splitters, and as you said, at the 30-yard line. So now it's going to be first and 10. Clock on the move, 625 left for the first quarter. And the Green Wave lead the rail splitters 6-0 here early on a touchdown strike from their own 26-yard line. 
Pilsen going to keep it himself on the right side. Looks for running room. They string him out. Stays on his feet. He's got another first down. Stays on his feet. He's up to the midfield stripe before he's knocked out of bounds. Jack Pilsen with a nice nifty run there as he weeded his way through the Lincoln defense on the right side of the field. The Raiders brought a linebacker up on the right side, on the defensive right side that time to blitz Bob, and uh, Pilsen ran the opposite way away from the blitz and found some running room, got to the outside and took the ball to midfield for another first down. Pilsen and Baker working over the Lincoln defense, running the football. Brock Smith was the wide receiver that caught the touchdown, so we got to watch out for him too. Ball spotted at the 50-yard line, first and 10 for the Mattoon Green Wave. 5.48 left for the first quarter, and the Green Wave lead the rail splitter 6-0. You'll listen to 96.3 FM. Here's the pass. Pilsen going to throw it long and way too long. Double coverage on the intended receiver. That was Brock Smith, but two rail splitters are out there on the coverage, and Pilsen just threw the football away. Yeah, good. Uh, it was uh, Shane Schumard putting the pressure on Pilsen that time. He got to him just as he let go of the ball, maybe forced him to throw it a little long. Shane Schumard, a senior, 6-6. Uh, pardon me, 6'1", 220. Where's the number 66? And he's one of the captains, one of the four captains for the rail splitters, Shane Schumard. Second and 10, ball at the 50-yard line. Pilsen operating out of the shotgun. He's got Baker in the backfield with him. Two receivers on each side of the field and a long count. Here come the Railers on the blitz. And this time he's going to try and keep it. They string him out at the 50, 45 along the sideline, and he's knocked out of bounds just before the first down. Knocked him out of bounds at about the 41-yard line. Yeah, we'll see where they spot it. I think maybe 41 or 42, but uh, Railers blitzed again that time, and Pilsen ran the opposite way and uh, found some running room. It's going to be a third down situation for Mattoon. It's going to be third and two, as they say, as you said, knocked him out at the 42. Quickly to the line of scrimmage. Comes up under center. Quarterback sneak. He's got the first down and more. And they take him down at around the 36-yard line, the rail splitters do. They came to the line of scrimmage quickly and picked up that first down at the Lincoln 36-yard line. Mattoon waiting for the field to come out onto the play. Don't forget to stop by Headline Salon LLC. Visit Brett, Liz, Jenna, and Danielle at 123 South Sangamon. And here comes Mattoon out of the shotgun. Jack Pilsen, first and 10 at the Lincoln 36. He's got plenty of time to throw. Throws a bullet on the sideline. The Lincoln player wraps him up at around the 32-yard line the tackle was made. It was Andrew Schmidt on the tackle. He was right there uh, after the catch to make the stop. for no, no run, no gain after the catch. So ball at the 32, and the clock stays on the move. And it's going to be, uh, I believe, a third down now for Mattoon at the Lincoln 32-yard line. Make it second and six. Pilsen out of the shotgun. He hands off. Baker cuts through a big hole, and he's on the run, and he's finally taken down deep into Lincoln territory inside the 10-yard line. So it's going to be first and goal for the Mattoon Green Wave with 4.29 remaining in the first quarter. Green Wave leads at 6-0. On, they're on the march again. Down to the 8-yard line. Just a nice uh, run by Baker. He started right and uh, made a quick little cut to his left there at the line of scrimmage and ran past a couple tacklers. First and goal at the 8. Jack Pilsen and out of the shotgun. He's got Baker in the backfield with him. Here's the snap and he gives off Baker and he tries to pick up a yard. The railers are right there on him. I think he dove ahead for an extra yard or so, maybe to the seven to the seven yard line, but good defense by the interior line of the of the Lincoln Railers and uh, good support from linebackers. So second and goal for the Green Wave at the seven yard line. Pilsen the quarterback, Abraham Baker, in the backfield with him. Where's the number 21? Pilsen, where's the number two? He's a senior. Jack's got the football. Wants to throw. Throws in the end zone. Touchdown. Looks like it's Birdsong for the touchdown, and they call it a touchdown. Birdsong caught the football in the end zone, and quickly the Green Wave lead the rail splitters 12 to 0. Birdsong on the catch. That's Hayden Birdsong. 3.41 left on the first quarter clock, and quickly Mattoon leads it 12-0. It'll be a uh, year to attempt the extra point for Mattoon. 
And they're going to go for the two-point. They hike it to Pilsen, and he's in for the two-point conversion. And now it's 14-0 matching. They didn't go for the extra point. They went for the two-point conversion, Coach, and now Mattoon leads it. 14-0. Yeah, they lined up with all their line way off to the left side and just had the center and a couple and Pilsen and another back, and uh, Lincoln didn't defend it very well. He pretty well just walked in untouched. So we're going to take a 30-second timeout with the score. Mattoon 14, Lincoln 0. Coach Ken Schweitzer, Bob Aderber back here in Green, Green Wave territory. Well, Coach, we don't have to worry about the rain coming in. We've got to worry about all the scoring by Mattoon. If Lincoln don't get this turned around on this next scoring drive here, we're in pretty much big trouble here to start the football game. Well, Mattoon's come out uh, offensively and, and shown a lot of uh, running and throwing the ball. That last touchdown pass was uh, right on the uh, back corner of the end zone. Pilsen, the senior quarterback with experience, and uh, he showed it on that drive. Deer with another squibbler, and this time it's going to go out of bounds. This time inside the 30-yard line, so that means they'll bring it back out to the 35. 14-0, Mattoon leads it. want to thank the Blue Dog Inn, located in uh, historic downtown Lincoln. That's on Sangamon Street. Perfect for lunch, dinner, and cocktails. The Blue Dog Inn, Monday through Saturday. Daily specials with added room for special occasions. Stop by 111 South Sangamon Street in Lincoln before and after tonight's rail splitter win. And it's going to be Lincoln ball first and 10 at the 35-yard line. 3.41 left in the first quarter, and Mattoon leads it early here, 14-0. Noah Funk out of the gun, wants to keep it himself, runs to the right side of the field, cuts it upfield, and he just gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. So it's going to be second and ten for the rail splitters as Funk only able to get it back to the 35-yard line. Well, he, he doesn't have quite enough speed to get to the outside, Bob, as he's trying to, and uh, Lincoln didn't have enough blocking to get the last guy on the end there, and that's who made the stop. In fact, they're going to say he lost a yard, so it's going to be second and 11 for the rail splitters. Clock on the move, 3.09 left for the first quarter. Funk out of the gun. Looks like he's got Schweitzer back there with him. Now he's got a man in motion. He comes to the trips on the right side. Funk going to throw, and it's tipped away. Nice deflection there by the Mattoon player. He deflected the football away, and now it's a third and 11 for the rail splitters. Just where they don't want to be, third and long, and that's their third possession here in this first quarter, Bob, and uh, each time they've had a third and long and not been able to convert. Clock stop with 2.57 left in the first quarter. Make sure you stop by the Nuthatch Hill Championship Barbecue Company. Now accepting your catering events and bulk quantity orders. Noah Funk, third and 11. He's definitely going to have to throw it here with 2.57 left in the quarter with Lincoln down 14-0. Third and 11 at the Lincoln 33-yard line. Funk's got the snap, and he's in big trouble right away. Now he's going to run it on the sideline, and he's going to get a first down. Runs it out of bounds at around the 47-yard line. The quick feet of Noah Funk read the left side of the field wide open as he scampered all the way to the Lincoln 47-yard line and a first down as they move the chains. Big play there, Coach. Well, Mattoon was, was blitzing on that with a couple linebackers, Bob, and uh, Funk was able to elude it and got around to the outside, the left side. And as you said, a lot of open ground to run in, and he picked up Lincoln's first first down of the game. At the 46-yard line of Lincoln, 250, they stopped the clock as he went out of bounds left in the first quarter. Mattoon leads it 14-0. You're listening to 96.3 FM. Here's the handoff. Oh, man. No, he kept it. I thought he handed off, but he kept it, and he was smothered in the backfield by the green wave back at the 39-yard line. So a seven-yard loss on that play, Coach. Yeah, that, that's a, that really hurts after a nice big uh, gain, and then you give it most of it, part of it back anyway. That's a minus seven yards on that play right there, back to the 39-yard line. And uh, Lincoln's offensive line has to get off and, and stop the penetration of that defensive line. Now it's going to be second and 17 for the rail splitters. They're going to have to pass their way out of this quickly. Funk's got it. Now he hands it off. I think that's Schweitzer. He's very quick, and he runs down to the 44-yard line. So a six-yard pickup there by Schweitzer. Took a heavy hit there. He shook up a little bit, but his teammate comes over and helps him up. That was uh, number eight for the rail splitters coming over to help him out. I'll have to check and see who that is. But uh, 
the rail splitters with a nice gain there. Compliments of Brandon Schweitzer. That was Jaden Pollis that came over to help him get up off the field. So it's a third, another third and long for the Railers from their own 44. And uh, they've tried to run on some long distance, and, and you know they're getting some yardage, but not near enough. Third and a dozen for the rail splitters. Funk out of the gun. He's got Schweitzer back there with him. And here comes the, the green wave and they grab him. There's a penalty on the play, but he grabbed him by the shirt and threw him down all the way back behind the 30-yard line. Yeah, well, I think that penalty is probably going to be a hold on the railer lineman up here. And so they're going to decline the penalty and take the play, and it's going to be on about the 28-yard line. Big loss. And that defensive here, player for the Green Wave came in strong, was able to grab it, Funk. Uh, we that was a 16-yard loss, and you know, Funk just uh, really hasn't got any time to set up and find a receiver, and uh, they grabbed him by the jersey that time and just threw him down. Funk's not the, not the biggest kid out there, 5'10", 175, and uh, they were just manhandling once they get to him. And now Austin O'Donohue's going to have to snap it away again to Jaden Graham. Graham's got it. He gets another end-over-end end punt away. Mattoon catches it at the 45, and a rail splitter's there. Tries to knock him down, and now there's a host of railers there to take him down. That was uh, Caden Price, number one for Mattoon. And he was taken down at the 40-yard line, but a flag on the field way back where we punted it away. I don't know if somebody roughed the punter up or what, how, why a flag would be back there. Well, it was either running into the kicker or roughing the kicker. I'm not sure how they call that now. Minute 12 left in the first quarter. The Green Wave lead the rail splitters 14-0 here in the first quarter. Lincoln declined the penalty and accepted the punt where it is. So the ball should be spotted at the, I believe, the 40-yard line. That's where they tackled him. We're going to put it on the 42. I guess that's where they stopped his forward motion. They threw him down at the 40. So it'll be first and 10 for the Mattoon Green Wave at their own 42-yard line with a minute 12 left in the first quarter. Mattoon's got the lead over Lincoln, 14-0. You're listening to 96.3 FM. New man up on the line now for the Green Wave checks in. Jack Pilson, the quarterback, looking to the sidelines. He's got Abraham Baker in the line backfield with him. And it's going to be first and ten now. Out of the shotgun, Pilson, the quarterback senior, has got it. He's going to throw. He's got his man in the middle at the 50, and he's got a first down down to the Lincoln 45-yard line. Just a, just a, look like a throw to the tight end, I think, is who he threw to him. He was in tight slot, but uh, he just went straight downfield, turned around, and took the uh, pass for a first down. London Fultz, the tight end for the Green Wave, makes it first and ten on that catch from Jack Pilsen. And that's up to the Lincoln 45-yard line. Pilsen again out of the uh, backfield, and we're under a minute now in the first quarter. Baker and Pilsen looking to the sideline. Looking for the play. Coach is still signaling the play. They've got seven seconds to get the playoff. Out of the gun. Pilsen's got it. Rolls to his left. He's a right-hander. Throws it up ahead. Incomplete right through the hands of the intended receiver. So it's going to be second and ten at the Lincoln 45-yard line with 14.3 seconds left in the first quarter. Pilsen threw the ball hard, Bob, uh, to the sideline. Lincoln Railer uh, was right there to make the play, but the ball was a little high, a little out of the reach of the receiver. One of our fine sponsors, Memorial Sports Care, Abraham Lincoln Memorial Hospital, phone 217 605 5008, and stopped by the beautiful all new facility located at 200 Stallhead Drive in Lincoln. And also for those catering orders for the Nuthead Hill Championship Barbecue, phone 217 737 3468. Matt got a man in motion, Price. Fake it. Now Pilsen. Drop Drops the ball, so it's going to be third and ten. Foltz again was the intended receiver from Pilsen. He dropped the football coach, so it's going to begin to be third and ten now for Mattoon at the Lincoln 45-yard line. Probably a break for the Railers. They were blitzing their inside linebackers that time, and uh, their receiver just went over the middle there and just dropped the ball. It was just off his right hip, just a little low, but uh, still a catchable ball. So it sets up a long, third and long for the uh, Green Wave here late in the first quarter. Lincoln's going to have to make some adjustments defensively if they're going to stop the Green Wave tonight. Pilsen's going to keep it. Tries to run oh, it up yeah. the middle. He's nailed. And you heard Coach's voice. Nice, nice tackle. tackle 
And I believe that was Sparrow, Austin Sparrow, one of the captains for Lincoln, and he knows how to hit. He read the play and came up strong from his position, Bob, and made the stop on the 44-yard uh, line for only a one-yard gain. Austin Sparrow, 6'2", 220. We've watched him since he was a sophomore. He'll play at the next level somewhere. Where's the number nine? He's a senior. Austin Sparrow stops the quarterback, Jack Pilsen, at the 44-yard line, and that's going to run out the first quarter with the score, Mattoon 14, Lincoln 0. We'll be back after these messages from our fine sponsors. Back at the action, Mattoon, Illinois. I'm Bobby V along with Coach Ken Schweitzer on the road in Mattoon tonight. A lot of wind and uh, some rain, but uh, not real bad. Just just enough to to make the ball a little slick. But uh, for anybody that's worked outside all their life, this isn't too bad yet. It's just steady, coming down steady, but as you said, Bob, just uh, not real hard at this point. So here we go, Matt Toon breaks, and now they'll go out of the gun. Now they're going to punt it away. Fourth and nine, now they're going to punt it away. This is gear, nice punt, end over end, and it's going to go all the way into the end zone. So Lincoln's going to get it out on the 20-yard line. First and 10 for the rail splitters. The defense was able to hold them up, Ken. Uh, they weren't able to catch the passes from their quarterback, and the rail splitters take over. First and 10 on their own 20-yard line as we start this second quarter. Fortunately, the rail splitters trail it 14-0 to, to the Mattoon Green Wave. Well, the Railers have only only picked up one first down in that first quarter, Bob, and uh, and so you know they had three possessions, didn't do much with it, uh, through two incompletions, and uh, actually have negative uh, rushing yardage at this point. The tackles up there for Lincoln are Isaiah Hunyan, he's number 74, and Jake Benninger on the offensive. In the backfield, it's the quarterback Noah Funk. And he's had Brandon Schweitzer with him back there in the backfield. It's going to be three receivers here on the near side of the field for Lincoln. One on the right side of the field. Early here as we get ready to start the second quarter, it'll be the first offensive play for the rail splitters. It'll be first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The officials took a while to dry the football off, and now they're going to place it at the 20. Up on that front line for Lincoln, the center is Cade Schmidt, and the guards are Gage Wilson and Shane Schumard. Schumard had a nice tackle earlier on the defensive side. Here's the handoff, and that's Vance on the right side, and he may have got a yard out of it, Coach. Yeah, tough yard. He went to the right side, and uh, Green Wave played uh, good pursuit defense and stopped him maybe with a yard. That was Schweitzer on the carry for the rail splitters, and he got a yard. Brandon Schweitzer wears a number two, so it'll be second and nine for the rail splitters at their own 21-yard line. Funk now back into the huddle. He gets the play from his coach. Clock still on the move. Funk out of the shotgun. He's got Schweitzer back there with him. Let's see if that Lincoln offensive line can hold. Here's Schweitzer off the left side this time. May have got two yards out of it, maybe a yard. Hard to tell. Yeah, it looked like, it looked like if he could have got off to outside to the left side there a little bit, there was some running room, but uh, he elected to try to go up the middle there, and he picked up two yards, as you said, Bob, but it's going to set up a third and seven. Third and seven. Funk going to have to pass it here as he goes to the sideline. Gets the play from uh, head coach Silkowski. Funk goes into the huddle. And now we're ready to go as the line. Raiders come to the line of scrimmage. They're going to have two receivers here to the near side. A man in the slot now goes in motion. And here's the snap. Funk got to quickly get rid of it. There was quickly two green wave in the backfield. No chance for Funk. And he's pleading with his offensive line right now to give him some protection. But he's going to have to walk off the field because it's a fourth and seven at the Lincoln 23 yard line. I, I, I think that ball was snapped before he was ready for it, Bob. The man that went in motion barely cleared when the ball came to him and I think he was a little surprised to get it when he did and uh, did a good job of just uh, getting rid of it in completion uh, to avoid a sack. Austin O'Donohue on the long snap for the rail splitters. Jaden Graham has done a great job all year punting the ball away. Gets it off. End over end. End of the wind and they catch it. Call for the fair catch at the 41 yard line. A gutsy move there by Price for Mattoon as he uh, a lot of Lincoln pressure coming at him, and he was able to snag it. Well, that was a smart play there because he's got it at uh, 
make it three out of four with 10 26. What, they're on 42, so great field position for them right there. First and 10 for the Green Wave, 10 26 remaining in the first half, and the Green Wave lead the rail splitters 14 0. And now the Lincoln defense is going to have to hold again as Mattoon got those two early touchdowns in the first quarter. Three men in the backfield now. Jack Pilson out of the shotgun, the senior quarterback for the Green Wave. Mattoon in the golden helmets with the green uniforms. Now they got the snap. Pilson wants to throw across the middle, incomplete, right through the hands of the intended receiver. And that ball might have looked like almost like it got tipped there as a, a right at the line of scrimmage. I'm not sure, but it just kind of sailed on him a little bit and uh, went incomplete. So that's going to be second and 10 for the Green Wave at their own 42-yard line. The clock stopped after the incompletion. Pilsen again this time with two running backs in the backfield with him. Two receivers here to the near side and one on the far side of the field. There come the rail splitter. Here's the snap and a late handoff. And he didn't get very far. If that was Baker, he didn't get very far. Yeah, I think he lost a yard or maybe got the line of scrimmage or a lot. I think they're going to put him a yard loss on that. But good penetration by the Lincoln defensive line and linebackers were blitzing. And they got a lot of white shirts there at the line of scrimmage to make the stop. Well, so the yard, third and 11 now for the Green Wave is a rail splitter defense. Held last time, they're trying to hold again here as Green Wave with the ball with their own 41-yard line. Clock on the move, 9.50 left for the half. And now Abraham Baker runs out in the flat. Oh, it's, it's a live ball. It's a live ball. ball. Get on it. Get, it. get it. That's a lateral. Jeez. And I think Lincoln's got it. I believe that was a lateral. Did he get back on it? Definitely lateral. It appeared to be thrown behind him, but the far side judge says no. I think that's why Baker stopped because he did hear a whistle. And it falls harmlessly incomplete, but I tell you what, I would not have been surprised oh my. if the officials called that a live ball. Yeah, that was a live ball by, I guess yeah. we don't have too bad of a replay, huh? That was a backward throw by... The wind mm. and rain mm. coming mm. down. Mm. I'm a bit surprised so they put it back at the line of scrimmage at the 41. It was actually a lateral, but they didn't call it that way. No, that should have been a live ball. I think Lincoln had one one uh, defender who was just kind of watching it, but another one came in, flew in, I think got it. But mm. nobody, back. nobody back for the rail splitters. They're going to snap it to gear. Now he kicks it away. Nice end over end, end over end kick. Going to bounce at the 30. Goes across the 20, and it's going to just roll dead at about the 17 yard line. But the Railers have succeeded the last ten, two times, coach on defense, stopping the Mattoon Green Wave. Yeah, the, by not having anybody back. Uh, that ball just, he got, they got a good bounce and a good roll, so Railers take over inside their 20 on the 17. First and 10 for the rail splitters. And uh, take a look. And the rail splitters with this first and down situation with 9.35 left in the half. They trail it 14-0, but the defense for the Lincoln rail splitters have picked up the last two times and able to stop the green wave. Noah Funk out of the shotgun. He's got Schweitzer in the backfield with him. Three receivers here to the near side, one on the far side of the field. Funk's going to keep it, try to take it off the right side. Keeps his legs churning up to about the 22-yard line, so about a five-yard pickup for Noah Funk. Oh, that's a good not good first down run. He had three receivers to the left side, Bob, as you said, but uh, kept the ball and got a little block there at the line of scrimmage and picked up four on first down. So second down for the rail splitters. On their last at the 21-yard line. Uh, Jackson Nichols in on that tackle again. Second Funk out of the shotgun. He's got Schweitzer the back Three there with him. Right, one left. And here we go. Here's the handoff to the running back for Lincoln, and he may have got a yard out of it, made out up to maybe to the 22-yard line. Hey, it's easy to see from up here where we are, Bob, where he, if he could have cut back to his left, he had some uh, running room, but uh, when you're down there on the field, it's a little tougher to see. Rail Splitter's going to have to come up with a big play here deep in their own territory at the 22. It's third and five for the Rail Splitters. 8.38 left for the half. Mattoon leads Lincoln. 14-0. You're listening to 96.3 FM on your radio dial. Out of Atlanta and Lincoln, Illinois. Funk out of the shotgun. Got the lone running back. He's going to throw it. Try to get the first down. He's got his man across the middle. He's on the run at the 40, 45, 50. 45, he's on his way. 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Lincoln. The rail splitters on a big play from the 22-yard line. In for the touchdown are the Lincoln rail splitters. 
Hard to see the Lincoln it. numbers. We'll and try. it goes for the 78-yard touchdown. Just like that, man. It is 14 number Kansas six. Offense. They don't is score. 11? Lincoln makes him pay. That's 11. 11. That's Colton no Holiday. That's Colton him. Holiday That's on him. the touchdown for Lincoln, and he got his first start tonight. Big kid, 6'5", 200-pounder. Colton Holiday on a 78-yard touchdown run, like and now Lincoln's back in the game. And, and now Bogdanich. Alec Bogdanich going to attempt it. Kicks with the left foot. Ball's down. Here's the kick. It looks good, and it is good, and it's 14-7. Railers within a touchdown now with 8-13 left in the first half. We'll be back after this. Matt Toon Bogdanich kicks it away. One of the up men's got it at the 20, 25, 30, up to the 35, about to about the 37 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Matt Toon on that run back. They did. Lincoln didn't want to kick it deep that time. Well, they're trying to avoid any long returns, but uh, you know the game has certainly changed here. A couple defensive stops by the Railers the last two Matt Toon possessions, and now a big touchdown, a long pass play. Lincoln's right back in the game at 14 to seven here. We're still. Uh, 8.02 left in the second period. Call it the 36-yard line for Mattoon, and the Lincoln defense has been the big story here recently. They've been able to stop the Green Wave twice after they got off to a great start. But now the score is the Mattoon Green Wave 14 and the Lincoln Rail Spitter 7. Mattoon's got the football, and they look to the sideline, and Jack Pilson's finally got the play. He's got, he's got Abraham Baker in the backfield. He's going to block for him. Now Pilson wants to run. Now he hesitates. Now he throws, and he's got his man, and he goes out of bounds, and a big play there for Mattoon. Took a long time to develop, but it was thrown up ahead, and the guy that scored the touchdown earlier for him was able to make the catch and get a big first down deep in Lincoln territory. He's got a nice receiver there in, in uh, Baker, and uh, he hit him right down the sideline over the top of the defense and picked up a big first down in Lincoln territory on the 36-yard line. First and 10 now for Mattoon. Pilsen out of that shotgun formation again at the 36-yard line. Clock on the move, 7.48 left for the half. We got us a ball game, and Baker's got it, and they nail him at the 35-yard line for a one-yard pickup there for Abraham Baker. And they help him up, good sportsmanship. The Lincoln defense have been doing a better job on the interior line there, Bob, stopping the plays there between the tackles. Uh, it's the long passes that uh, that are an issue, and uh, uh, Pilsen to Baker is a good combination for the Green Wave. Second and eight for Mattoon. Make it second and nine. Seven sixteen left for the first half. Mattoon leads it 14-7 on the Raiders. Players. Here's Pilsen. Wants to pass again. Here comes good pressure, and he's tackled. Nice play there. Let's try and pick up. That's Schmidt, 91, Schmidt. Schmidt for the rail splitters on the tackle. Andrew Schmidt, one of the captains for the rail splitters, and he got in there quickly, Coach. Yeah, he was coming hard from the outside. He's, a, he's in the end, and he came hard from the outside and got to Pilsen before he could get back to the line of scrimmage for a nice loss. Schmidt, a senior, 6'1", 185, ball at the 39-yard line. Third and 15 for Mattoon. Now the rail spitter defense has come up big again. 6.35 left for the half. Here's Pilsen's got the snap. Throws along the sideline. He's got his man. And he's still on his feet, but he doesn't get the first down. That's number four, Brock Smith. He's a senior, 6'2", 185. He's a guy that caught the first touchdown pass. Brock Smith and the Railers were able to stop him. It was number seven, Trevor Bree, who came up and made the initial hit and hung on until he got a little help. Uh, sets up a fourth down, but they're going to go for it on the 33-yard line. Fourth and eight, Trevor Bree, good football player. He made a big uh, hit last week. Pilsen out of the shotgun. They held the brakes on the wet grass, the Lincoln Rail Splitters. No flag on the play. Pilsen's got the snap. Fourth and eight. Big play here across the middle. Incomplete. Good coverage. There was like five Rail Splitters all around Brock uh, Smith, the intended receiver. So Lincoln will take over again on downs for the third time at the uh, Lincoln 33-yard line with 5.50 remaining in the first half with a score of Mattoon 14 and Lincoln 7. Good, good bend, but don't break uh, regular defense that time for the third series in a row, Bob. Uh, they got a first down on the big 28-yard pass play, but then the regular defense stiffened up a little bit there and uh, forced the uh, turnover on downs. Railers had the ball on the 34. 
here. Three Lincoln Rail Splitters on the right side, the far side of the field, on the west side of the field, and now Funk looks to the sideline, and Lincoln's going to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout. Mattoon leads Lincoln 14-7 with 5.50 left in the half. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Three. Lincoln out of that timeout. They're going to run it out of the shotgun. Noah Funk. And he's going to keep the football himself. Tries to come off the right side. He breaks a tackle and he's up to the 43-yard line. Nice run there by Noah Funk as he was able to break a couple of tackles there, Coach, and get out to the 43-yard line. Yeah, about a nine-yard pickup. That was a nice run by him to uh, get Lincoln near midfield there on the 43-yard line. And uh, nice first down run by Fink. That first touchdown for the Lincoln Rail Splitters, sponsored by Chris Coyne State Farm Insurance, your agent on Woodlawn Road. Here's Funk uh, tried to take uh, it. He's got it. We fumbled. Funk fumbled, and they were saying, Mattoon saying they've got it. We'll have to wait and see. That's that belly option play, and Mattoon has the football I think he was trying, was going to hand off. I think, was that Vance that was in that time? And uh, they just never had the exchange, and the ball went on the ground, and Vance kept running, and Funk couldn't get on it. Mattoon did. Unfortunately, the Lincoln defense is going to have to take the field again and try to work some magic as Mattoon's got it at the Lincoln 39 yard line after that fumble. 5 13 left in the half. The rail splitters trail it by a touchdown 14 7 in the Mattoon Green Wave here in the Apollo Conference on a rainy night in Mattoon. Jack Pilson out of the shotgun's got it. Hands it off. And Baker's bucking and fighting. Gets up to the 35 yard line. Four-yard pickup there for Abraham Baker. He's tackled by number 74 for the Railers. Uh, that is where's my list. Uh, that's Isaiah Isaiah Hun, H U Y N H. He's 5'11", 260, a junior. There's the number 74. Second and five for the Green Wave. Clock on the move. They lead it by a touchdown. Hilson's got the snap. Hands to his running back again. Baker's got some more yardage. Doesn't get a first down, but he makes it about to the 32-yard line. First down markers at the 29. Baker's a good runner. He, he tends to take tacklers with him, Bob. Uh, we're not pushing him backwards. They're taking tacklers with him. Lincoln Railer just accidentally kicked the football on the ground. Oh, okay, they're going to stop and reset it. I thought they were going to just let it go there for a second. Lincoln seven. The yeah, they got yeah, they, they moved got it, it right. back. Yeah. Lincoln player kicking it the wrong way. Calling it the 32 yard line. Third and three for the Green Wave. They see Abraham Baker again here as coach said he's a good running back. Pilsen. Here's the snap. And Baker again. And he's got a first down. And he's down just across the Lincoln 25 yard line before he's taken down. He's a bucking Bronco in there. He won't go down. As you said, Coach, he dra drags people with him. Yeah. Right now, the Railers haven't had an answer for him, and uh, he picked up eight on that run. Just a football length inside the 25. First and 10 for the Green Wave. Clock on the move, 347 left in the first half. Pilsen out of the shotgun. Here comes the rail splitters. They try to blitz, and they blow it dead. Illegal procedure going to go against Mattoon, and that's going to be a five-yard penalty, and that's a good one for the rail splitters. That's going to move the football back to the Lincoln 30-yard line, so it'll be first and 15 for Mattoon with 3.40 left on the first half clock. Yeah, the Railers would really like to get out of this quarter, Bob, only down one touchdown, so they're going to have to have some big defensive plays here on first and 15 uh, inside the Railer 30-yard line. You're listening to 96. Point three FM on your radio right dial of uh, Atlanta and Lincoln, Illinois. Jack Pilson out of the shotgun for the Mattoon Green Wave. They lead Lincoln 14-7. Here come the rail splitters. And now Pilson wants to throw. Oh, first and 15. Incomplete. Good coverage there by the rail splitters. And incomplete. London Fultz, the tight end, was the intended receiver for Mattoon. So now it's going to be second and 15 for the Green Wave. Railers have been able to put a little extra pressure on Pilsen as uh, making him run out of the pocket and uh, doing a little bit better coverage too, which uh, together has spelled a lot of incomplete passes here. Second and 15, 313 left for the half. Mattoon leads at 14-7. Jack Pilsen gonna operate out of the shotgun. He's got Abraham Baker back there with him. And now he wants to throw, airs it out, incomplete. Good coverage there by the rail splitters. 
That, that was uh, incomplete and couldn't handle it. Yeah, they, he, had, he had two uh, men, two white uh, shirts there covering him, and Pilsen tried to thread it in there, and he just couldn't quite do it. That was Cam uh, Kiernan. Kiernan, Cam Kiernan, and he couldn't handle it. We've got 310 left here in the, in the, in the half, Bob. Uh, Big third down. It's four down territory for the Green Wave. Third and 15. Pilsen out of the shotgun. He's got Abraham Baker and the rail splitters are coming again. They're trying to catch up with him. Pilsen along the sideline. He's got his man and he's tackled out of bounds. That was a tackle there for the rail splitters. That was uh, number seven for the rail splitters. We'll check and see who that was. That was uh, Kinnearum with a good catch. He's down to the 20. That's Trevor Bree on the tackle for the rail splitters. It's not a first down, though. It's fourth and about five, almost six yards for the green wave here in, in uh, Lincoln's 20-yard line. Now they're going to take time out. They lined up for a field goal. Railers take time out. Nice tackle there by Trevor Bree. Railers take a time out. They trail it 14-7. We'll be back after this. Okay, back here at uh, Mattoon uh, High School. And a timeout by the rail splitters as they saw Mattoon line up for the field goal. I believe it'll be Gear attempting the field goal here. It'll be a 37-yard attempt if they actually attempt it, but I'd be a leery of a fake. Because Pilsen's on the hold. Let's see what he does. Don't jump. He's gonna they're gonna try it. Here's the boot, and it looks like it's off. It's off to the right side. No good. So the score remain Mattoon 14, Lincoln 7, with two minutes and 33 seconds left in the half. And the rail splitters will take the field, and they'll take over the football at their uh, their own 20. Well, with two minutes and. 33 so seconds, I think the uh, goal here for the Railers is to yeah, kind of keep possession of the ball. The touchdown be great, but if you go in down 14-7 at half, that's not the worst thing that could happen as the way the game started in that first quarter with Mattoon moving the ball at will. Uh, the Railers are going to be on their own 20, so they got 80 yards to go here. I agree, Coach Weiser. If we can just hang on to the football, go in down by seven will be nice. Drayden Posge. Posge up under Posgay center. Now he's going to hand it off and off to the right, to the right side. That's Tyler Vance, and he's up to the 20, maybe 24 yard line for Tyler Vance as Posgay comes in there for the rail splitters. I thought maybe uh, Vance would try to cut up Bob. He just keeps trying to go to the sideline and gives defense time to close on him. Uh, again, it's hard to see sometimes when you're down on the field. Clock on the run, second and seven for the rail splitters. Almost down to the two minute marker. And there it is, two minutes. Pose Gay up under center again. Pose Gay hands off in the backfield. I think that might be Schweitzer, and Schweitzer might have got a couple of yards on it. Out to the, that was Schweitzer to the 27, maybe 26 yard. We'll see how they spot it. Now Mattoon wants a timeout. With a minute 46 left, the Mattoon Green Wave takes a timeout. It's going to be third and four for the Raiders when we come back. We'll take a 30-second timeout. One of six tonight on third down. All right, dirty going. So we've got a timeout. We'll keep it right here. Mattoon football is brought to your way by LSC Communications, First National Bank, McDonald's of Coles County, Time and Clean and Restoration, the Washington Savings Bank, Illinois Express, I hear Diamond Brothers Insurance and Brown's Auto Sales. We have 10 seconds. Yoga Mattoon Charleston just before 8 o'clock. Back here at the action, Coach Mattoon took a timeout. They didn't like the way Lincoln was able to get the short gainers there to make the third and four. Yeah, well, I think they're trying to save a little time here, too, Bob. If they could stop us on third down and force a punt, uh, if they uh, get us to fourth down, they're probably going to take another timeout here, and they want one more possession before the halftime. Minute 46 left on the clock for the half. It's the Mattoon Green Wave 14 and the Lincoln Rail Spitter 7. Third and four for the Rail Spitters at their own 26. Posgay up under center, hands off to his running back. That looks like Schweitzer stays on his feet, and he gets up to the 30. It's going to be close. I think he got a first They gave him a good spot there, and it's going to be first and 10 for the rail splitters. They're going to say his forward motion took him up past the 30-yard line. They're going to put it on the 31, a five-yard pickup, a nice run there. Looked like uh, 
Another cut would have got him more yardage, but we'll take five and a first down. Especially in enemy territory. Pose Gay up under center again. He's got the snap. Hands off Schweitzer. Right side. Stays on his feet. And it looks like he's got another three yards. Ball was at the 31. Looks like he got out to about the 34-yard line. So it'll be about second and seven for the rail splitters. Clock on the move. Minute. 10 left. Posgay up under center again. Posgay waits for the snap. Now he's got it. Here's Schweitzer again. Right side. Stays on his feet. Still on his feet. Gets out to about the 37 yard line. About a three yard pickup. In the red there, coach. Stop the clock at 55.1 seconds left and a half. That was a Matt Toon timeout. And Matt Toon with another timeout. And Matt Toon leads Lincoln 14 7. We'll take another 60 second timeout. Um, Pose Gay up under center. Out of that timeout by the Green Wave. Going to give off Schweitzer again, right side. And Schweitzer may have got another yard out of it. So now it's going to be out fourth and four. Clock, they stop the clock again. Looks like another. Timeout. Timeout. Green wave again, coach, with 48.6 seconds on the clock. They, as you said, they keep trying to milk that clock, but this time it's fourth and five for the rail splitters. Fourth and four at the, I'd say, 37 yard line. So the rail splitters are going to have to punt it away here. Yeah, yeah Matthew just used their third and final timeout of the half, but uh, it'll force the railers to punt and give them a couple uh, opportunity to. Uh, Maybe throw a couple long bombs or whatever they want to try to do here with only 48 seconds left in the half. Uh, so the Railers are going to have to come out and play defense one more time here before halftime. That team is called, as you said, three timeouts here trying to maintain the clock. 48.6 seconds left for the half. Mattoon jumped off to that early 14-0 lead. Lincoln came back with a 78-yard uh, touchdown pass to Colton Holiday from Noah Funk to make the score now 14-7 after the extra point was good by Alec Bogdanovich. Jaden Graham, out. it'll be Austin uh, O'Donohue on the long snap for the rail splitters. And uh, Graham, an excellent punter, Jaden Graham. Here's the snap, nice snap, boom, he pops it up high, and it's going to get, let, let it go. No, they run in, swoop in, and get it, whoever that was for Lincoln. And they down it at the 47-yard line. You're only talking a second or two, but if they just let that ball bounce around a little, it'll lead up a little more clock, but uh, the Raiders elect to grab it right away and down it, and that stops the clock, and the uh, Mattoon Greenway were on their own 47-yard line with, what do we got, Bob, 42 seconds to go. 42 seconds, and Pilsen out of the shotgun. Watch out for the dangerous long bomb. Pilsen's got Abraham Baker in the backfield with him. Rail splitters are going to hurry up and try to a bad snap. Got him. And Pilsen's hitting the backfield. That was a bad snap. It was off the turf. Pilsen picked it up, and one of the railers was right there, and it hit him hard. Yeah, well, they aren't going to stop it now. They don't have any timeouts, but they'll just let it run now after losing that. Uh, range picked up, Bob. The ball may be a little slippery and tough to, to handle out there for the center. And you're right, Coach. We're just going to let that clock run down. It's under 20 seconds now. Mattoon's going to go into the uh, locker room with a touchdown lead, 14-7 over our rail splitters. And the way the first half, uh, first quarter started, Bob, we thought it could have been worse. So the Railers have hung in there pretty well and got put one up themselves. We've been lucky. The rain has held off. There's no lightning, so we're going to be able to keep playing football after the halftime. As I said, the score here at halftime, the Mattoon Green Wave 14 and the Lincoln Rail Splitters 7. We'll be back uh, after these messages from our friendly sponsors. 